streaming from Capture Live into Unreal Engine. Hello, I'm Nils from the Capture. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to stream from Capture Live into Unreal Engine. Of course, you can also stream from Capture Studio into Unreal Engine or from Capture Replay, but the workflow is exactly the same, except that in Capture Studio or Replay, you just play back something that you recorded before, and then that gets streamed rather than the live version. The first thing we need to do is we need to download the plugin, and we go to fab.com and we search for Capture. And this is the plugin, and I've already downloaded it and added it to my library. Next, we'll go to the Epic Games Launcher, Launch Engine, We'll create a new project, yeah, whatever, and we'll call it Tutorial, create it, and we'll go to Edit Plugins, search for Capturing, make sure the box is ticked. Let's also make sure that the regular Lifelink plugin is already checked and just restart the engine again. We open the Lifelink window, which you can find under Virtual Production Lifelink. You don't need AR kit, then you can add a source down here. Type in the IP address of your Capture Live machine. To find the IP address in Capture Live, go to Settings, Network Settings, and find the one that doesn't have cameras attached. Back in Unreal, type in the IP address and it's connected. So one thing we need to do is add a character that we actually want to stream to. So I'll go to Fab and find a character. Let's use this guy, add to project. So the next step is that we have to export this character that we just added as FBX so we can import that into Capture Live and use that as a retargeting target so we can stream this character into Unreal. And of course the best solution is to have no retargeting. This is not always feasible so we're going to use the built-in retargeting in Capture Live and for that we have to export the character from Unreal Engine into Capture Live and perform an automatic retargeting there which is pretty good. So now in Capture Live, go to the retarget panel, go to load target and choose this SK survival character on our USB stick. And just go OK. And there it is. So now we need to track. And then we can go right click, retarget to, find the character. And there it is. And now we can go back to Unreal Engine, back in Unreal. We can check that we're actually streaming by going to the Live Link panel. And we can see that it's streaming Unknown, that's the actual actor, and the survival character, which is the retargeting target. And then it's also streaming an AR tag that it found in our office here. So now we have to tell Unreal that we want this character to receive the Live Link motion. So we go right click on the skeleton, create an blueprint, and edit it. Now drag to the left and search for live link pose. We select the survival character and compile. And you can already see that it's working. We just want it in the game as well. So we can drag this character into the scene. And if we play this in the selected viewport, it's actually working. But if we play it as a separate, as a standalone game, it doesn't work. And that's because this live link setup over here doesn't happen in a standalone game. So what we have to do is we have to save these settings as a preset, factory live link preset, and then apply that preset during initialization of the game. So what we do is we create a new live link preset variable in the level blueprint of type live link preset and we put that into the blueprint and apply to client and that's supposed to happen on begin play. So now this is a generic live link preset it doesn't actually contain anything so what we have to do is compile it. We have to give it a default value which is this capture live link preset. And now if we compile this and run the game standalone, save selected, then it's actually there. That's it for today. For more information, check out our YouTube channel.
like, subscribe, stay tuned and bye bye.